Hey, thanks a lot, man. That was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, why did I have a breakfast this morning? <laughs> what? I didn't have breakfast this morning. <laughs> cool hat. Hey, that was a great segment. Thank you, Zoom. Thank you so much, Max. I just yeah. want to do the best job I can for you guys. Um, so, are you seriously, like, are you the type that listens to audio, or are you listen, going to listen to audio? I Brian Tracy in my car right now. Awesome, awesome. So, hey, what I was going to say is a great when I walked into Webster, um, people like were walking out smiling. Yeah. It's like the niche, One guy said he had just opened the checking account. It came with a little bonus. And his Webster banker asked Yeah, that's where I started with, like, salespeople and business people. So, I wrote a book called Memory Makes Money. So, that's that's where I started. And I also... remember, like, customer yeah. service. There's a whole yeah. section there if you remember. Oh, absolutely, names, yeah. Kids' names, birthdays. Well, what I mean about the niche thing is that is that because I'm in the Guinness so Book of Records, because I'm on top, then I'm pulled in this direction, this direction, this direction. But what I've actually, I found a solution for it. Basically, I'm I'm duplicating myself. I'm I'm certifying people in my own system, and then they go off on a niche. So I've got one person who actually went on a niche for uh, for churches. Actually, we wrote a book together on memorizing Bible verses, and she's going to go do the church uh, thing. Uh, somebody else is going into uh, colleges and universities for tutoring like med students and law students and things like that. You're gonna make a lot more fucking money if you tie your memory into making people said never. And so this name is great. But if you if, you know if you're doing a Brian Tracy thing with your memory. Yeah. Even said he rejected everybody, all special interest these money. Things, right? You've been there. Uh, well, you know actually, how many people drop down hundred dollars to go in. Uh, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm actually going to these wealth building seminars and everything. We didn't. We didn't. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm going to these wealth building uh, events and everything. I actually, you know, Raymond Aaron. I spoke at Raymond Aaron once. Uh, Mark Vendrell. Uh, well, some of these, like, uh, well, I, I mean, I'm speaking with Zig Ziglar. I'm sure I'm staying with him. Um, so yeah, so that, that's what I'm starting to get into. Uh, I started off with uh, the product and publicity, and now I'm, I'm getting more into the uh, the big speaking, big events, that sort of thing. So wish me luck, man. Send out cards. Actually, yeah, I use send out cards. Yeah, send out cards a lot as well. Yeah, they're awesome. They're having a big um, convention, like or some shit. And they're having oh, a bunch of speakers. Coming. That would be perfect. And, and your whole thing, mem, mem, we, you, you 99.1 PLR, Connecticut's number one rock station, 7.59, Chaz and AJ in the morning. Is Bridgeport going to get the pantsuit off him? We'll find out. Cecil's coming on to tell us what happened yesterday. That was a quick switch, by the way. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I, actually, I actually have um, I've automated send-out cards. There's actually a guy I know who, who did a an API type bridge and he's actually found a way to automate it so when somebody orders my product they automatically get a card sent to them. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah. It's nice. So and but you're the perfect person to have them come in and say I, kn I didn't know there was a convention. And birthdays and all. Yeah. Do, do I go on to sendoutcards.com to find out about that and everything? And yeah, talk, track that, that down because a friend of mine's a motivational speaker and he's trying to get into the convention. It's like a big convention. Dude, dude, that's so, awesome. Uh, look it up. Cool, cool, yeah. yeah. And hey, if you know any leads uh, for for talks like that, uh, you know, I, I'll, I'll give you the same fee I give to speakers bureaus. Uh, I give twenty five percent of my speaking fees, so you could, wow. yeah, so you Holy could, shit. you could make like seven eight hundred bucks or something like that from. Uh, well, actually, uh, my speaking fee right now is around uh, five grand for something like that. That's really so you make reasonable. over over a thousand bucks just to get me on there. Yeah. Uh, and then I sell product, and that's you know that's uh, on top of everything. So your contact info is on here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, uh, Dave at DaveFarrow.com is my most direct route. Okay. And then um, obviously it's all on the websites and everything. So. You can find it on the website. Call the toll-free number. They'll get a hold of me and everything. If you get me a gig, seriously, be happy to give you lots yeah. of commissions, man. Well, we want to have you come back, too. I would love to come back, yeah, especially because I'm so close by. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I do a lot of cool stuff. You know, I did this whole thing with Sony where I lived in a window for a month, uh, reading on the Sony Reader and things like that. So, really? Yeah, so, like, I, I do a lot of different publicity stunts so on the well, next one. Well, if you're doing anything like that, to keep us in mind, like, get in touch with us and let us know. I'm we... actually debating as to whether or not I want to go for a Guinness record of the most uh, radio interviews in a day. The current record is around 100. And it's just like phoners and stuff like that. Uh, uh, right. um, but I'm actually debating about that because I've I got a lot of connections and I think I could get all these stations to agree to do we'll it all do it. in one day. You'll do it? Oh, yeah. Cool. Well, I mean, you'd be part of Guinness Records. That'd be yeah, kind of yeah, cool. All right, cool. All right, awesome. thanks all right, a lot, we'll man. See you soon. Thanks all for right, everything. Man, you take care. Uh, well, hey, you want to say anybody, anything? Hey, okay. goodbye, everybody. Hey, this guy's amazing, <laughs> okay, man. Totally blew our minds. We didn't think he'd be this good. He was incredible. Awesome. Awesome. I'm going to use that. I like good that. Good stuff. All right. 
All right, so now I'm going in the elevator afterwards, and I'll give you a little bit about my uh, kind of my post-game interpretation here. All right, I assume there's no cameras in the elevator. Um, you might have noticed right when I got in, because I had you with me, because I had a camera with me, all of a sudden he's kind of annoyed, like, who is this guy? He's filming himself? Like, who does he think he is, right? So I think you could tell that I had to say things off the air that made him like me, and you need the host to like you, or you're not going to sell anything, guys. So, um, so that's important. All right, now I can talk a little bit more. Um, yeah, it was clear that he was kind of annoyed when I first got in there because of the whole camera thing, but uh, I wanted to bring a camera in with, in with me anyways, so I, I was fighting for you guys. Um, also, uh, it's really important to make someone like you. Don't be cheesy on these things. These guys are like, uh, on radio, it's like they're the most cynical people you'll ever meet in the world, and, and rightfully so. I mean, they've seen it all and done it all. It's kind of like talking to a police officer and trying to, you know, talk to them about motivational speaking or something. So you got to be real. If you're going to give them a compliment, give them a real compliment. And I was really impressed. They have the top-rated uh, show there for the last seven years. I mean, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing the sales on this uh, because uh, it's really tough to get the top-rated show. So I was like, hey, you know, good on you to get the top rated show. And, and uh, you notice when I said off the air, things like, uh, you know, I've been on a lot of stations and I'm not just, you know, blowing smoke up your ass. That's actually, I'm, I'm actually like really impressed. I, I don't know how you did it. And I said, I've been on a lot of stations. I can't really put it into words, but it's just a feeling you can just tell. And he said, yeah, it's like family and everything. That's when I started to connect with him. You got to be real with these people. You can't be fake. You can't be pretending to do anything. You've got to be real with these people. If you want to get on the radio, if you want to impress uh, a show host, if you want to make any money at this at all, you got to be real with these people. They're going to spot the fakers a million miles away and they're going to tear into you. And don't think that you'll ever sell anything if the host is making fun of you or tearing into you. You won't sell anything if the host doesn't like you. Uh, everybody who's listening to the radio station, they love the host. That's why they listen. They wouldn't be listening if they didn't love the host. So uh, they don't love you. They don't know you. They don't know me. None of the, When I walked in there, the host didn't know me. Nobody knew me. Um, I, I just came highly recommended. But they've had tons of times where people have gone in there and, and completely bombed on the air. And then, of course, the host still has to keep the ratings up. So they would turn to a tactic of just kind of making fun of them. And I can't blame them. I would do the same thing because you got to keep the show going. Um, but uh, when I was able to prove the demonstrations and make it work, then that's, uh, that's key. Also, you might have noticed I was a little stressed out. I am actually running on less than two hours sleep. I just couldn't get to sleep last night and I was working on a bunch of stuff. Maybe I'm having too much coffee lately, but hey. Uh, <laughs> but um, w when you have very little sleep, it is hard to do memory demonstrations. The memory techniques are amazing, but there's still a very biological issue. You got to get enough sleep. So normally I make sure to get full eight hours sleep and everything before a show so that I can do things like memorize 200 names. Um, but yeah, a list of 15 can even challenge me when I'm, uh, when I'm lack of sleep. Plus, also I want to I wanna actually be clear, uh, if you... If you make it look too easy, like I wasn't, don't get me wrong, I wasn't hamming it up or anything, but um, if you try to hide any stress that you're having and make it look too easy, then uh, then they're going to see that. They want to see you stress out because then they know it's real. So I knew that me having a little, you know, little challenge with it going, oh, two hours sleep, I'm working on it, okay, instead of just saying, oh, this is easy, I can do this any day. The, the difference there is that the second one, you're kind of coming from ego. Like, oh, I could do this a million times over, no problem, you know. Then nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to hear that. People want to hear you kind of overcome challenges. That's the ultimate story in life. So they don't want it to be easy. They want it to be hard, and they want to be, they're, they're more impressed when you actually have a little challenge with it. I've done shows where uh, I was perfect and flawless and had no problems and we sold hardly anything and I've done shows where I made maybe one mistake, not a lot, but one mistake out of like 50 things I got right and our sales went through the roof because people knew that I was the real deal. 